What's going on, Bully World? This is Juan Martin from Boy Boy Bullies, shortlegs.com. And this video is in reference to the Draminsky ovulation detector. I had some people um, asking about a little more information on that device. So I just said I'll make this video. But before I get into it, hit that subscribe button, like, and hit the little bell. So you can um, get information on the uh, being a, becoming a better breeder. But anyway, uh, the Draminsky. I don't have it here. Uh, but a friend of mine borrowed it. He got a grim daughter. That's um, matter of fact, it's a T'Challa, T'Challa daughter, uh, little mate sister that he's breeding. and let him borrow it. But what it does, it measures the mucus inside of the vaginal tract so what you have to do you have to insert it and rotate it three times and it's going to give you a number and you have to do this when you first see blood all the way until she ovulates so say you see blood today you should Draminsky you rotate it three times, rotate it, click, rotate it, click, rotate it, click, click it again. It's going to give you a number. You write down that number on your chart. As it goes up, goes up, goes up, goes up. For my girl, I use mine. Uh, my girl Lola, five time ago, bitch, um, that I produced. Boy, boy, Lola, you can look her up. B O Y, B O Y, apostrophe S L O L A. Boy, boy, Lola. I just bred her to T'Challa, which is a big red son. I used the Draminsky um, on this breeding, along with the ovulation pads. I'm talking about the ovulation pads next on another video. But I used ovulation pads, the Draminsky ovulation detector, and I also did progesterone. You know, progesterone is supposed to be the best way to zero in on the day of breeding. So what I did, just to see if these other things were accurate as the progesterone, I used all three. And the Treminsky gave me the same type of date that the progesterone did, as well as the uh, ovulation pads. So if you test... From day one, when you see blood, test every single day. Look at those numbers go up. And when you see that number drop, my hers was like a 12, 1280 or something like that. And then it dropped to like a 320 the next day. I knew then that what it does, you know, the vulva get real swollen. That's the fluid, the, the mucus and all the fluid. As she get close to it. And after ovulation, you see the vulva, uh, it shrinks. It gets, goes back to to normal, gets soft so that the male can penetrate. And the blood also turns like a pinkish color instead of a, a dark red. So when you see all these signs that she's flagging, the blood is like a pinkish color. Uh, the, the vulva is not as swollen anymore. It's starting to shrink. You know, that's a good time that she's about to ovulate or she didn't ovulate it. But um, if you got any more questions, you can call me at 313-215-4390. I'll be sure to help you. Or you can email me, boyboybullies at gmail. I'm also on Facebook, Juan Martin, J-U-A-N, Martin, Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter, same thing, boyboybullies. But uh, I hope this helped you guys. And I catch you on the next go around. I'll be making a video for the ovulation pads, giving a little more detail on that later.